Welcome to this demonstration of VMware Virtual SAN. Today I will showcase the procedure for configuring a VMware Virtual SAN cluster for remote office and branch office use cases. The procedure is very simple. We'll start the process by moving two available physical hosts into a cluster called RoboLA. Once the two physical nodes have been added to the cluster, we will then proceed to enable Virtual SAN. As part of the process of enabling Virtual SAN, you can choose how to add disk whenever they're gonna be used for storage in regards to their claim rules, manual or automatic. Let's move on to the fault domains menu to start the creation of the fault domains required for the solution. Here, start the fault domain configuration wizard. You'll see that you'll have to provide a name for a preferred fault domain in a secondary fault domain. The virtual SAN Robo cluster configuration requires three fault domains. We'll start by creating a fault domain called RoboLA Server 1 and a second one called RoboLA Server 2. You'll now have to place a node in each one of those different fault domains. The third fault domain is added with the creation of the witness host. Here, you'll be able to choose an available virtual witness appliance and configure its disks so that it can store witness objects. You can add a flash device and a capacity device. Here you can see how everything is now completed from a configuration standpoint. Once the cluster is successfully created, Let's try and deploy a virtual machine to see where the objects are placed during provisioning. When deploying this virtual machine, we will utilize the default virtual SAN storage policy, which provides the number of failures to tolerate equals to one. This ensures that whenever there is an outage within a fault domain, your virtual machine will continue to work. Once the virtual machine is successfully deployed, let's look at the layout of its components. Here, you can clearly identify how the different components have been laid out across three different hosts, which are part of three different fault domains, witness and the two different servers. This concludes this demonstration of the virtual SAN cluster for Robo. Thank you for watching.